Hey guys, this is Shabir Majid here. What I want to talk in this Voice Tech Insights podcast is the state of voice technology, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, artificial intelligence, and how it is shaping all our industries. Hey guys, uh, in this episode, I'm going to cover the top seven voice design and skills building tool. Uh, and what that means is essentially we're going to look at tools which help you create applications for Amazon Alexa as well as Google Assistant in a very easy manner. Voice applications are growing rapidly and there are primarily two major platforms, Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, leading the platform race. Creating voice applications on these platforms require technical knowledge which might be difficult to procure and will not will also work out very expensive. Also maintaining such applications might require a team of developers which can be difficult. What if all the technicalities are removed and user is presented with a powerful drag and drop user interface to create voice apps? Wouldn't that be great? Well, yes, it is possible now. Uh, It would really make this process very affordable, robust and easy to maintain in long run for a lot of people around. Now let us look at some of the voice application builder tools in the market today. We are primarily going to cover seven major platforms or tools, including SaySpring, Storyline, BlueTag, Jovo, Orbita, PulseString, voice apps, and towards the end we'll cover Dialogflow. So we start first with SaySpring. SaySpring is a collaborative design and prototyping platform that allows designers to rapidly create interactive voice interfaces. With uh, no coding required. Isn't that great? So guys, using Say Spring, you can actually create voice apps and really no coding is required. It's actually an Adobe company now and it allows users to easily create voice applications on Amazon Alexa and Google Home platforms. Uh, the next application tool which I'm going to cover is Storyline, uh, which also helps in creating Alexa apps without writing any code. It allows you to create Alexa skills such as Flash briefings, custom skills, games and trivia. Uh, the next tool which I'm going to cover is BlueTag, uh, which is the leading provider of SaaS platform for retailers or e-commerce companies to launch voice applications without writing code. Uh, it supports both custom and popular uh, in-market platforms, including Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. BlueTag actually lets users search. Uh, It can help you create, Bluetech can help you create applications uh, using which users can actually search your products, product catalog through voice-based devices uh, such as Amazon Echo and Google Home. This particular platform is really geared towards retailers as well as e-commerce companies. The next tool or you can say a framework which I'm going to cover is Jovo. Jovo is the most popular open source development framework for professionals to build Alexa and Google Assistant skills and applications uh, and multimodal applications. Using Jovo, you can build a cross-platform app for Alexa and Google Assistant. So essentially, Jovo is an open source option where you can actually create uh, applications uh, uh, in one language and it can run on multiple platforms like Google and Amazon. The biggest advantage with Jovo, it's free of cost. It's an open source framework. The next I'm going to cover is uh, tool is Orbita, which provides the first enterprise grade conversational platform for creating and managing intelligent voice assistants, chatbots, and other conversational interfaces into healthcare applications. So essentially, Orbita is a, a platform specifically made for healthcare. Uh, it has number of solutions available for healthcare, and it really allows you to create these applications very seamlessly. The next tool uh, I'm covering is PullString. It is a leading solution for brands and agencies to rapidly design, prototype, and publish only Alexa skills. So PullString is mainly only for Alexa. Uh, It uh, combines Visual Studio uh, or visual authoring with their powerful conversational cloud to manage your voice experience at a scale. The next application tool uh, which which I'm covering is Voice Apps. Uh, It's a visual design tool. It allows anyone to easily build Alexa skills in minutes. Start from scratch or use one of their uh, templates to jumpstart your project. You can build uh, almost any skill you can dream up. Uh, Their comprehensive tools allows you to take full 
control of the Alexa platform. So essentially, voice apps is really focused on the Alexa platform. Uh, the next one uh, we're going to cover is dialogue flow, which I think, uh, in my opinion, is the most comprehensive and is a very powerful flat platform. Uh, it allows you to build natural and rich conversational experiences using uh, their platform. Uh, it gives users new ways to interact with your product by building uh, engaging voice and text-based conversations interfaces such as voice apps, chatbots, which are powered by AI. Connect with users on your website, mobile app, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Facebook Messenger and other popular platforms using uh, on their different devices. So guys, uh, that's pretty much in brief all these platforms. Uh, in my opinion, uh, from what I have observed, uh, Dialogflow seems to be the most comprehensive. It covers all the platforms, which also includes mobiles as well as Facebook Messenger and uh, website as well. Uh, the other tools out there, uh, some of them focus on Alexa, some of them focus on both Alexa as well as Google Assistant. Uh, especially Blue Tag uh, is really focused towards retail, while uh, Orbita is really focused towards healthcare. So you have an amazing uh, set of these seven tools, which you can pick and choose uh, to actually develop your applications. Also note that uh, a lot of these tools are actually free of cost. So there is a freemium account. You can just go and sign up and explore. Uh, I've had a chance to explore a few of those. And I think in the coming uh, uh, episodes, I'll try to see if I can go in more deeper into these tools and probably recommend uh, a specific one or a couple of ones which I think um, are really working out good. Uh, I've started with Storyline myself and I've started to explore uh, voice apps as well. So guys, uh, if you really want to get started with voice apps, of course, you can do the uh, the standard way by hiring a developer and getting things done. But then there are there is an easy way out as well, where you can use these tools and uh, shorten your time span uh, in developing uh, these applications. So guys, if you like uh, what you heard from me today, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have more exciting episodes lined up in the near future. Thanks a lot for your time today.